everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Vinland Saga chapter 171. So, last chapter of Vinland was was really interesting. Um because what we were trying to do is um barter with um uh with Hapdan to get so that way we can get Cordelia to um come with us to uh Vinland. But, uh, yeah, Thorfinn and, um, and Halfdan weren't on the same page. Like, Halfdan wanted 80 sheep in exchange for Cordelia, and, uh, Thorfinn was like, nah, -uh, we'll, we'll give you two cows. And Halfdan was just like, nah, 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 we're not even on the same page. But something that Thorfinn said, like, proposal-wise, I gotta say it was brilliant. But before I get to that, I want to, um, mention what Halfdan uh, so I was thinking last chapter because it really made my life, which was uh, that that Thorfinn um, was reminding him of Thor's, and I was just like, yay! Um, so uh, what Thorfinn said to uh, Halfdan was, was uh, basically his proposal was he said, look, you can't the, the farming here really goddamn sucks. This land sucks to farm on, and you're not getting enough harvest. Uh, crops to harvest up in here. But you know, if you come to uh, Vinland with me, the land is great to farm on and it will give you a harvest of plenty. Come with me, half Dan, and bring Cordelia with you. And I, I was like, damn, Thorfinn. <laughs> um, half Dan's thinking about it, but I really would love to see half Dan come with us. But I don't, the question, the thing is though, I don't think half Dan himself will come with us because I think he's going to stay um, stay there, and I think he will send other people there, uh, like Cordelia there, and maybe a couple of other people, um, there with us, and then, uh, once we take care, get everything settled in Vinland, then send people back over to the, back over there, and then get half and shit, once everything is settled, that's what I think anyway. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Her late father was a carpenter, and I totally forgot about that! I totally forgot that Hild's father was a, a carpenter. And chapter 171 is titled uh, Sailing West Part 5. And fun fact, this is the uh, second manga that I've covered today that has come back from a hiatus. Not as long as a hiatus um, as Berserk, but jeez. Um, but anyway, uh, pre preparations for the voyage are ongoing. Oh, this one is splendid, a good one. Uh, better than the, uh, the old one that broke. Let's replace it right now. Boss, um, uh, did, uh, Carly come this way? Uh, stop calling me boss, missus. I'm not a pirate anymore. Greeting, missus. Same here. Stop calling me that. Embarrassing. No, no, you married Thorfinn. It's my term of distinction, missus. The little master, he was with Hild. Uh, ah, this is a great new rud- Uh, this is, ah, this is great. A new rudder? It's a good one. A good job on getting it. Uh, much obliged. Miss Hild made it and dropped it off. Eh, Hild did? She, she's an amazing carpenter. Even though she's young, she knows her way around trees. She can make anything. With a good carpenter among us like her, I'm feeling more confident about Vinland. With our companions, yes, that's right. Hild has been changing lately. There um, wasn't much she could do until now. But at this rate, she might even come to forgive Thorfinn. After being together for more than two years, it makes sense. Okay. I want to say this about Hill, because this is something that I'm starting to real maybe uh, starting to realize about Hill, and I think this is the um, this is what uh, this is what um, Makoto was go is going for with Hill. I feel like Hill represents um, Thorfinn's um, Jiminy Cricket, his conscience. Um, and uh, because every time, you know, Thorfinn is going to fight, um, you know that he has that hesitation. And uh, Hild pointing that arrow at him is that same hesitation and that same, you know, worry that he's going to kill someone and go out of control and revert back to who he was um, back when he uh, was a kid. And seeing that there's more of a purpose now as the time has gone on, 
for, especially for um, for Hild, I feel like um, there's the same thing going on with Thorfinn, as, you know, as we're progressing and, you know, actually moving forward towards uh, Vinland. And I feel like we're getting we're getting into a uh, forgive but not forget situation with Hild. And I feel like that's where we're, that's where Thorfinn is going to be, for Thorfinn needs to get at, um, before he can, uh, before he can truly find that balance between, um, uh, between pacifist and, uh, and murderer. Well, you know what I mean? Uh, because that's something I've been really waiting, waiting for from, uh, Thorfinn. That's prevent, that's what's really holding Thorfinn's uh, character progression back, at least for me, and for me anyway, because where Thorfinn's at right now is like extreme pacifist, and I understand why he's there, and we've seen it in his nightmares and everything, is because he's held back by all, um, by the ghosts of all the people that he's killed. He's held back by all this guilt, uh, the weight of all his guilt, and Hild represents all that guilt, um, uh, all the guilt that's weighing on his conscience, and. I feel like if Hild forgives Thorfinn, that uh, that's the, what he Thorfinn needs is that forgiveness. And once he gets that forgiveness, I feel like Thorfinn is going to be able to start moving towards the middle and finding that balance within himself. Um, and I. I feel like that's what Hild's kind of waiting for, too, in a way. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, to me, that would make the most sense. I still, I really wish Gar uh, Garm was here. Um, I really hope Garm still comes with us, because I feel like Garm would really help, um, uh... Thorfinn get into uh, the middle a little bit faster because Garm represents, because when we were fighting Garm, Garm represents like the warrior side of uh, of um, a Thorfinn while Hild is like, uh, is trying to hold himself back hold uh, Thorfinn um, Thorfinn back from like crossing that line so I'm really curious what you guys think in regards to that and see if what that's what Makoto is going for. But to me, based on um, what, uh, based, especially based on uh, what um, has been set, has uh, been said in this chapter and just like really thinking about it or this in this chapter so far and just like really thinking about it, it makes sense that that's what uh, Makoto is going for is basically Hild representing um, uh, Thorfinn's conscience. But anyway. But Thorfinn is so cool. He's so kind and honest. Any woman would fall in love with... Any woman would... Nah, no, 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 no. She ain't gonna fall for him. No, 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 no. That's not... That's not totally not, not... That's, that's not it. It's not love. It's just that after two years of observation, she came to understand Thorfinn's inner side. She did. She under, I, I, that's what it is. As I said, Hild understands the guilt, uh, the weight of the, um, guilt that Thorfinn feels from murdering all those people. That's kind of like, lo that's kind of like love. The more, that's not. I don't think it's love. No, I think it's more of an under. It's more of um, an understanding. It's not love. No, it's more of coming to terms with it, and more of like trying. Because remember, Hild is trying to like get an understanding of Thorfinn and trying to make sure that Thorfinn isn't going to become the monster he once was. Uh, before so the more I say it enemy hmm? an arrow mommy what you doing mommy Carly where did you get that uh, this bow he'll make one for everyone he'll made it she did sorta 
Um, she showed us all. Um, ah, it's Auntie G uh, Gudrid. Um, and then Hild made um, and uh, uh, then Hild helped us make them. Even our drawings are good. Damn, Hild. Uh, ah, that's right. Your shoes, Carly. Uh, shoes? Uh, they're all tarnished and their soles are dried out. I don't think you could keep on playing while you wear those. Let's see. I will fix them. My shoes are fine. Hild repaired them already. Di I see. Damn, Hild. Uh, want me to show you, Mommy? Uh, nah, Mommy will go back. It's no good if I can't help you. Oh, don't get jealous. Um, I don't really have a crass craftsmanship like her. I knew that, but I can read and write. That will hold up. Yes, that is very important. With the boss, it is true. Hild will be a big help in Vinland. She will. Um, but wouldn't I be as well? I have a lot of experience as a sailor. But Hild also knows her way around a ship, and I can't make a rudder like that. Uh, uh, why? Why do I have to be like this? Comparing myself to Hild, like I'm still some servant. It's bad. It's bad. I'm too weak natured. I want some kind of special ability or a strong um a setting. I can't be a crook. I should go back. Uh, speaking of Hild. Uh, hi there. I didn't know you were here, Hild. I thought you went out a while ago. Well, it seems like uh, you're taking good care of Carly. Uh, it's nothing. I don't mind making things. Uh, just tells me, uh, just tell me if it becomes an annoyance. No, not at all. I should thank you for playing with him. I hope it's not much trouble for you. It's nothing. Um, what's going on at the house? Uh, they want to join the team of settlers. Oh. Uh, are they arguing? Yeah. Well, it'll take a bit to explain, so please come inside. There's no need to talk for long. How troublesome. That is the only condition to join us. Troublesome? It's not troublesome. No, I'll be devastated if I can't bring it with me. I'm bringing the so Really? Thorfinn! Oh my god! Really? Okay, this is one thing that... I just don't fucking understand. I don't get it. This is where it pisses me off and I hope Hild or somebody tells Thorfinn he's being fucking stupid on this. Why would you not bring a sword? Allow them to bring at least a sword. Well, you're gonna need that to chop down shit. You're gonna need a sword to be able to uh, slice, to, to, you know, defend yourself against the animals up in there. Arrows are not enough, Thorfinn, you stupid fuck. I'm, oh, I'm so tired of pacifist Thor, of Thorfinn. Oh, this is driving me nuts. I can't stand this. This is where I'm open. I'm really hoping we're gonna get this freaking balance. This is what's holding, as I said earlier, this is what's holding Thorfinn back as a character for me. That he's not, that he hasn't found that balance yet. And I'm really hoping Hild or somebody just fucking tells Thorfinn he's being stupid. Seriously. Thorfinn, you can't, you gotta be realistic about this shit. I, I just, oh my god, I just don't get it. I'm bringing the sword with me to Vinland and you'll have to accept that. Seriously, dude. Ah, that's, well, I was wondering when a person like that would show up. Gudrid, stay put. Do not disturb my surveillance. Um, the sword always brings uh, home the trouble. Uh, next issue, before Thorfinn makes a decision, Hild, Hild moves. Hild? Seriously. Hild? Please be the fucking voice of reason. I am begging you, Hild. Seriously. My God. All right, let me give you my thoughts on this chapter. As I said uh, earlier in this video, it really, again, it really seems like Hild is, is uh, the Jiminy Cricket to Th uh, Thorfinn's Pinocchio. It really does seem like that. And I really hope Hild is going to um, bring Thorfinn to, um, to the middle to, and make Thorfinn realize, look, it's not about the weapon itself is uh, the weapon itself is just an inanimate object it's it's um all about how you use it you could use it for good uh, you could use it to help you um with shit like 
use it as a tool to help you kill animals, um, uh, and you know, provide, and also to uh, skin them so you could get fur, uh, help you slice the meat so you could cook it, because arrows ain't gonna do that shit. So you're gonna need a sword to, like for the bigger game, you're gonna need a sword for that. Um, you're gonna need knives for that. Uh, so I just don't understand what's going through your head um, with this. But I, I'm, I'm gonna say this, because I was giving, I, I was giving Hill, I remember a while back, I was giving Hill a hard fucking time, and I was hating Hill's character. But now I understand, thinking about it now and reflecting on it, I understand what, um, what, uh, what Makoto was doing, symbolically what Makoto was, is trying, was, um, setting up Hilt's character to be. It, and I'm curious if you, if, uh, if, uh, Makoto, if you guys agree with me that, uh, Makoto was, um, the purpose of Hild's character, that Makoto's, uh, purpose for Hild's character was to be, uh, uh, Thorfinn's conscience, um, or not. I'm very, or if Makoto did this on purpose for Hild's character, that was goddamn brilliant. Um, if not, then that's just a happy accident in my opinion, but I really hope that was, uh, um, I hope this was really intentional. I really do, because that's goddamn brilliant writing right there. It really is. Especially with how with the parallels that we have here. Because as Thorfinn, as you, you guys have noticed, as Thorfinn has been developing, and, you know, and especially um, as we're getting closer to Thor, uh, to, you know, moving on to the next step to, uh, to go to Vinland, you notice that, you know, as this chapter pointed out, that Hild's starting to do it too. And uh, Gudrid pointed out that um, that Hild's actually starting to become useful. That to me says that that Hild is 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 start is going to start pushing um, pushing uh, Thorfinn towards the center. But I'm very curious what you guys think in terms of uh, if Hild has um, if Hild knows or she's. If, Hild knows that Thorfinn uh, has uh, carried the um, has that burden uh, slash guilt of um, the people he's murdered throughout his life. I'm very curious if uh, you guys think that she knows that or not. Um, I'm very curious about that, and very curious what you guys think about what I said that um, she's basically like the Jiminy Cricket to his Pinocchio. And do you guys think that Hild's going to be the one to kind of move Thorfinn towards the center of the of the spectrum um, when it comes to uh, when it comes to like being between the uh, extreme pacifist and uh, and murderer? Because as I said, in, uh, as I said, right now um, Thorfinn is still like way over there. Like Thorfinn was slowly getting towards the middle um, in the uh, previous arc when he was up against Garm. But, like, now he's way back over at the uh, at the extreme pacifist end. And I'm just really hoping that, uh, that uh, Hild's going to bring him back. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Vinland Saga content, there is a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my uh, Cash App, PayPal, um, purchase something off, uh, oh wait, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, uh, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all it's in the description box below. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!